Hey guys, how you doing? It's Henry. At Mars and Blowers! Good afternoon. I'm on my way to go see my buddy Nick from Bellport. He texted me early this morning and said that he has a new carcass of crap. And it looks like this. Looks pretty good. After all, you've seen my past few videos on getting two haulers going. We've got the Dayton. And I've got all that old Craftsman LT4000 that I got going. Lube on the steering section. So I have two lousy haulers. But honestly, the better hauler, the LT4000, has that red Kohler command engine in it that seems to run really good. So I felt like that engine was going to waste on that yucky old carcass. So I figured, why not go pick up Nick's carcass and put the red engine on it and that and get rid of the other two, you know what I mean? That's what I probably want to do. Also on the way home, I'm going to go stop by Rob uh -huh. from Holbrook's house because he has a chipper shredder for me and also a electric lawnmower. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I really got to stop picking up all this junk, you know what I mean? But I can't help it. I'm a hoarder. And when somebody wants to throw stuff to the garbage, I just can't see it going to the garbage in a landfill because I know that I can make some money out of it. Whatever, even as is, just listing it as is, 10, 15, 20 dollars, whatever, some nut will buy it. So I'm here at Nick's house. He just unloaded some stuff. Guess he's working on one of these. Ooh. Looks like the same exact engine I was working on. Yep, yeah. same exact engine on the uh, T-Series 1600. Ooh, hey, it's Nick from Bellport. Look at all the T-Series hoods you got. Or at uh, least a YT. A, I just got a bunch of crap. I can't finish it. I just bought this for 100 bucks. 100 bucks? With yeah. the engine? No, it's blown. I got a new engine. Over. Nice. I got all this crap. I can't finish back here. Wait for a second. You're selling a lot faster than anybody else is. Yeah. It's taken me for I haven't sold a track actually. Well the last thing I sold was that zero turn. Holy cow. Yeah, look right. at this. That's not bad. I just I painted a deck on top of the hood like an idiot. Thanks. Appreciate that. <laughs> now what am I gonna do? Well, otherwise it's pretty clean. <laughs> yeah, I it stole is. the front end off of it. And all the wheels and tires. What do you mean you stole the front end? I changed it. That's a, a bent uh <laughs> metal one i just thinking about it but it's not really bent that bad <laughs> so you realize that when you do that you create more work for me right i know but i figured the rest of it's beautiful yeah, there's no it's not rusted out or anything though it was a good shape that's why i kept it i was gonna put it back together or something but i just never did that's the reason why i said i'd come and get it is yeah, because it looks, it looks decent it's clean man. yeah it is yeah. Until you sprayed the hood. <laughs> well, I didn't just do that now. It was in the picture. <laughs> oh, you did that a while back. Yeah, a long time ago. Just not now. It's a decent hood. I'm surprised you're not even keeping the hood. I know. Look, comes with lights and the lenses, too. Huh? You know what? That'll just buff right out. <laughs> you can probably get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like will come out. It. Yeah. I mean, I'll take it because I'm working on these two haulers that are just trash. Let me get my little air tension. Thing I, today. I saw that. It would look like yeah. trash before. See, I don't think this engine, I think there's a newer engine in here, right? This engine shouldn't be in this old of a John Deere, right? No, that's about right. Yeah? Sure. Um, be round style. No, because this is the round style uh, frame, so it should have that engine. And yeah. also, that engine's been around for yeah. two decades, you know what I mean? There's only 199 hours on this stuff. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a good engine. Fun. Yeah, LA-125. This is not that old, man. Yeah. We gotta do the deck. No, the up and down one looks like a Tesla. I know. You I don't, don't like the Tesla look? No, I don't like it. 
Nah, I like the ones that go across. Ooh. Like a TV style looking one. The one that goes like this? Yeah. Horizontally? Like yeah, right. Really? I like the vertical ones. Because it'll it'll go from your height of your dash all the way down to like the console yeah, on the bottom. The down, so it's yeah. big. I think that looks impressive. Uh, what the hell do I know? <laughs> that was awesome. Hey dude, how many times have you and I done this? I don't know. That was fun. In how many years? How many times have we done this? Too many times. That was fun though. You like that one, huh? I bet you <laughs> there you go. guys have seen over the past five years how many times we've been doing this together huh uh, when you showed me the picture I had to come get it it's in good shape Not bad. just gotta get some acetone and turpentine and get that damn yellow stuff off. more work for me but you know what I appreciate Nick giving it to me for free 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 all right well nick just told me he's gonna he's gonna take off an engine off of one of his projects has a blown connecting rod it's a blown engine whatever it's a 21 horsepower do the two minute engine removal challenge no you're gonna do like a 20 second engine no, removal. Okay. well with time lapse it'll look like 20 seconds so we're gonna videotape how fast nick takes off an engine off of a tractor so i've got this uh bungee cord on the hood because if it's going backwards the wind will lift the hood and hood will fly right off the highway and hit somebody's windshield and I'll kill somebody on the highway and then get sued for 10 million dollars which I don't have and the then will be gone. and then sketchy will be gone mowers and blowers will be gone everything will be gone so a 30 cent bungee cord should save that from happening from mowers and blowers to uh, beggars and stealers <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the begging part oh, but sorry. stealing I could steal after all, I am armed. <laughs> hey, look, in an apocalypse, when we can't find any food, guess who's taking his AR-15 to the local stop and shop? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when shit hits the fan, you gotta do what you gotta do to survive, man. What is two thumbs and shooting up stop and shop? There ain't gonna be no laws when that happens, you know what I mean? Actually, if the NSA or the FBI is listening, I'm just kidding. <laughs> look at this tire, still got the nubs on it. Oh, shit. It's too good to be true. Anyway, this is a decent tractor. Like I said, I've got nice. I've got two haulers. I might as well just put, put that end, put like that red engine on there and I don't know, it's another project for me. Like I don't have enough goddamn projects, but whatever. It passes time, you know what I mean? All right, let's let's go see Nick take an engine off of a tractor. Let's see how fast he can do it. Okay, so these are the only tools that you need. That's what Nick says, to remove the engine. Okay, let's see how fast he can do this. Three, Ready, two, set, one. go! That's it, it was like 10 seconds. Engine be out. Engine be out ski. Yep. <laughs> Well, I mean, I could probably do the same thing if I could, if I had a hoist, to hoist the front of the tractor up like that. He just, he just manhandles it. Like, no problem, man. Uh, he's giving me that engine. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe it's a bad connecting rod. Just buy a new connecting rod. <laughs> but Henry, you don't buy shit. That's true. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Your last name should be Matt Shevowitz. I do like the Manischewitz section of the stop and shop. Of course. Gotta get that matzo ball soup. We'll just put the engine right back on here again. Save room. All right. Here we go. Uh. 
All right. Now we got a spare engine to do whatever we're gonna do in the future. So Nick's putting the other engine right, together on. and he says that the pipe doesn't reach the muffler. So now he's taking this pipe off. Let's measure it. See the difference? Uh-huh. Oh, wow. How about that? So Congratulations, it, you have a John Deere muffler. <laughs> has an inch and a half longer pipe. <laughs> you know, because yeah, there's only one exhaust stud here, so don't forget to put another stud. We could all I mean, use an extra inch and a half. I know. Well, that at least I do. I could get it. Hey, that's a nice hat you got there, Nick. Where'd you get it from? I got it from this homeless guy on the by 7-Eleven. Oh, this hat? I gave it to the homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not like safe yet, you know what I mean? But they do have them. Flying cars. First of all, I don't know. Well, I mean, it, as long as you get the bolt out, sometimes getting the bolt out is the big problem. Or if you get a bolt stuck in there or broke, holy shit. I know. I had only one brake on it. Really? Uh, maybe more. Out of 20,000 tractors? Yeah. Yay! Insertion complete. So he's putting just two um, bolts underneath so he can lift the whole thing up vertically. I mean, if, if I had that kind of strength to lift up the front end to make it vertical, I would, but there's no way I can do that. You're kidding me, really? No, you manhandle it. Make it fit. Of course. Oh, look at him. He's getting on the ground. Hey Nick, you're being featured in this uh, video quite okay. prominently. You might have to actually watch the damn video now. All right, well, should we uh, watch the part where I hit the exhaust with a sledgehammer? Uh, okay, <laughs> that, that's fun. <laughs> there you go, now it'll fit. <laughs> Manhandle it. A little bit of elbow grease for God's sakes. Did all the bolts fall out? Probably, right? Alright. Are you ready to lift? No, I So if you guys uh, don't know, Nick is the CEO and president and chairman of Crackers with Tractors. He's definitely a cracker and he's got lots of tractors. Ooh, a little bit of a grind down oh, wrench. Water. You get to hold that bolt behind. Yes, sir. That's I do I do the same thing. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> that could have been a Nick Quickie. I was tired that day. I said, you know what? Do you, uh, do you have a half inch wrench that you grind down for the fuel solenoids? Yeah. Because you know those fuel solenoids, you, they actually make uh, a special wrench that's super thin for that. I make one too. It's, it's free in my garage. For the grinders. <laughs> grinders do help. So, you know, I didn't know this, but Nick buys hypercarburetors uh -huh. all the time, and he says uh, whenever he gets a surge, what? They're the best. What's going on? <laughs> oh shit! Look, I even got hit the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> almost had, almost had me there. I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't get any underwear. <laughs> so whenever he gets a surge, he just puts a new hypercarburetor on. It doesn't surge, and that's why. Well, guess what? This one needs a new carburetor because the choke the spring don't work. Oh. All right. Well, it looks like we're going to see a hypercarburetor install, eh? Oh, God. Holy cow. So if you guys can bench 300, then you can lift it like that. Just right. to tighten up the bolts. Look at this. Crankshaft bolts. And I had to go to Home Depot the other day to buy one because I was out of these. I used to have 100 of these. I don't know what happened to them. Watch, one day I'm going to find this drawer full of a hundred of these. Oh, that's all right. Look at that. You got those. Dude, you know there are some that are different, right? Yeah. No. 
No what? Oh shit, you got a lot of these. Take two if you feel you two. I might. I might. Choke flap is not going to return. Damn thing. Take the whole fucking cover off. Oh, really? You do know that comes off, right? Crap. No, it's underneath. Look. Oh, you have to do flywheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. This out, you know, just pull the choke flap right out whole stem comes out and you can fix the spring. So now look, I just fixed it. He's cutting that because the John Deere ones have that thing and, and that uh, Briggs Craftsman cover won't fit with that thing in the way. Correct. Modifications, my friend. Nice. So I'm actually hanging out with Nick at his garage, having hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> we just fixed the spring on his carburetor, saved $20 for a carburetor. <laughs> I got a 46 inch flap. Somebody will know. That'll work. No, it's the same fucking size. So Nick just asked me if I needed a drink, and I said, no, I've got a liquid ice energy drink available on Amazon and Walmart. <coughs> Nick was just looking at these stickers. So this is a. Uh, 2000, what did you say? 14. 14. Okay, right. Look at these stickers over here. It's kind of cool. So look at that one. This one said it was $1,749. And you have these other stickers. Staged for testing. Staged for cleaning and testing. Well, I'm, Interesting. I've never seen those stickers before. So what's this date? You guys know what this is about? 2014, and this was born on January 27th, huh? It's kicking around the factory for a while. Hmm. Interesting. Now it's kicking around in my garage. I don't know where. For sure. All right, so I spent like uh, a few hours here hanging out with Nick, fixing the carburetor. That guy Rob's probably like, where the hell are you? <laughs> he fed me Sorry, a hot Rob. dog. <laughs> hey, uh, it was good, good spending some time with you, man. Retract the free food. Thanks for the hot dog. Too, I'll see you later. later hey, uh, see thank, you. thank Nicole for me for the hot dog. I shall. All right. Yeah. We'll see you later. Now off to Rob from Holbrook's house. Hey, I'm over here at Rob from Holbrook's house. Say hi, Rob. Hello. So Rob is uh, home, which I'm lucky to find him at home. He's giving me this. It's actually very clean. It's a uh, Tecumseh engine. Oh, actually, this is a vertical, so, I mean, a horizontal shaft. So it's not as bad as their lawnmower engines. I mean, it's actually in pretty good shape, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't really want it, but Rob got it, and if I don't take it, he's going to... Put it on the curb. Put it on the curb. And you guys know how I feel about throwing perfectly... Well, I wouldn't say perfectly, but, I mean, some nut will buy it! Right? <laughs> and it's got the flow jet carburetor on the other side, but it's not like the bridge where the gas tank really hinders the linkages in the back. You know what I mean? So it's actually kind of easy 
to probably fix. I mean, I'll, I'll look at it. I've got so much to do. You guys have any idea how much stuff I have to do? I have to do so much. And of course, I've got even more stuff to do. So I've got so much to do, not enough time uh, in the day to do it. And Rob and I were just talking about, you know, our age. We're both the same age, uh, 55. I'm going to be 56 this year. You're going to be 56 this year? Yeah. And uh, I mean, how much more time do we have left? You know, we'll be, I mean, you're going to be super lucky if you live to 85, right? What, what would you say, 85, 90? Are you, are you looking at 90? Uh, I doubt it. I mean, I'd be happy at 85. I mean, because I know tons of people that have died even in the 30s. You know what I mean? I mean, I know a lot of people that have died, you know, because I used to work for the airlines. I knew a lot of people. And if you keep in touch with them on Facebook, you'll see these postings. Oh, this and so-and-so died. Oh, so-and-so died. I'm like... Man, we're all dropping like flies, you know what I mean? But I feel relatively healthy, and um, hopefully I can make it to 85. So if you think about it, 30 years, 25 years left, it goes like that. And what am I doing? I'm fixing lawnmowers and stuff. I mean, I enjoy it. And of course, the channel, making content for the channel. You know, I'm getting very philosophical on this episode, huh? <laughs> anyway, whatever. You guys get my drift. Um... He also it wanted to give me this. So it's a Ryobi 40 volt electric. Doesn't have a bagger. And uh, he found it on the curb. And the owner took this apart to figure it out. It's got no battery. So I'm thinking to myself, um, if it's no battery, what am I gonna do with it, right? I'm not gonna go and buy a battery because the batteries are usually what? 100 bucks, 150, it's a lot. So I mean, I thank Rob for picking this up for me, but there's a reason why he took this apart. It wasn't working, even with the battery. So I'm not gonna take it. All right, uh, I'm gonna try to load this. Um, Rob's not feeling that well this morning, so I, I don't want him. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't even be standing. Go sit down somewhere. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to finagle this thing um, up here without hurting myself. <laughs> Watch, we'll both be looking around today. <laughs> No problem! to do some unload ski of course unloading here is better because i don't plan on working on either of those things until i'm done with some important stuff i'm just gonna roll it out and put it in the backyard so i just got some packages from halo black he sent me some stuff to ask me to try out i've actually seen this on a neighborhood tesla model 3 it's a sunshade for inside your car this is a universal one, but I don't know if it fits mine. So it's unique because it's not just your regular folding sunshade into like three uh, folds, but it's actually like an umbrella. So here it is right here. Uh, supposedly it has some kind of uh, new revolutionary reflective coating or whatever. <laughs> so it's a sunshade. Approved by NASA. And supposedly this reflective coating on here reflects the sun better than any other sunshade and keeps the interior of your car super, super cool. And look, it's just like an umbrella. And it shrinks easily into that. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try this in my truck. Also, they sent me 
uh, Halo Black trash can. <laughs> Sometimes you're in your truck, you're chewing gum. Where do you throw the wrapper? Well, you don't have a garbage can in your car. Some people just put a plastic bag or somewhere. This is actually a trash can. with plastic bags in it, plastic liners. You can open it up, throw out your trash, put this in your cup holder. Now you got a trash can in your car and it comes with a carrying case. Now, why would you need a carrying case if this is gonna go in your car? Here's a better look at the trash can. This is, it's molded rubber, halo black. Comes with the lid. And the liners open and close your garbage I mean that's cool I'll probably use it but you probably need to have at least four cup holders otherwise you're gonna use this trash use one of the cup holders up for the trash can what if you have four drinks and the third item that they sent me is a universal coin holder you know you're going through the drive through at McDonald's you give them $18 for a Big Mac meal, because how much? that's how much it costs around here. Well, if you get a milkshake too. You give them $20, they give you $2 bills and a handful of coins. Where are you gonna put the coins? You put them in the coin holder. <laughs> you know, a coin holder. This is what it looks like. Put your dimes, nickels, pennies here, nickels there, dimes, quarters. Okay, now where do you put this? All right, see, let's see if this works. So you got your trash can. I've got two here, and I guess I can put the trash can there. All right, so now I've got a trash can. I've got plenty of coins. And yes, I'd have to dig into this hole to find what kind. You're going through the drive-through and you want to try to use up your coins. They tell you how much your Big Mac is, $17.59. I'd have to look through that bunch and can't find 59 cents. So at least now I've got this coin holder where I can find the 59 cents. How about that? I put, I fit, I fit all my coins into this thing with plenty more to spare. All right, that's pretty cool. And I'll just stick this back in here. It doesn't fit. Put it right down here. So now whenever I need coins, I know where it is. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see if this works. Didn't anybody ever tell you never to open up a... Shoot. Never to open up an umbrella indoors? Huh. How about it? How about that? That's pretty cool. How about it? It just sits there and it pretty much seals off every crack uh, of sunlight, you know? And it's, I mean, I honestly do feel it's much cooler. So this is a universal one. They have ones specially made for Tesla, but it seems to hold pretty well here. And I do feel cooler. <laughs> it's because you're out of the sun. So not bad, I like it. I'll leave a link in the description for all these things and more. They were supposed to send me a phone mount, but this is what I got. I didn't ask for the coin thing or anything like that, but I wanted the phone mount, which they didn't send me. Send me the phone mount. From NASA or this VIN.
All right. Anytime you can do that without hurting yourself is good. That front end needs to be changed because it's crooked. That's about it. That's about all I can do. Oh, I'm sunburnt, I'm peeling, and I had no place to park it. But over here, I'll get to it when my current project's finished. It's like I'm never, I'm never without something to do. Just notice something about this, look. This actually has electric start about that that'll be interesting never had a chipper shredder with electric start before kind of cool so so many projects I do it to myself I just can't stand when people are ready to throw away perfectly good stuff well not perfectly good stuff but pretty good stuff uh, out into the trash I want it I'm gonna try to make something out of it I'm gonna try to make a dollar out of it that's what the whole channels are about getting stuff for free and making a buck out of it that's what I do thanks to Nick from Bellport and also Rob from Holbrook guys are the best. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers.